Portland needs a center. Um, I guess Klingon is going to go here. I would think so. Oh, look at that. It's on the board. We spent so much time on Salon. They're Blaze that ran to the podium. I'm Good assuming for them. They knew. <laughs> the Portland Trailblazers select. Donovan yeah. Klingon. Good for them. Good, good, good for Klingon. Obviously, good we I have him really on my board. Uh, he is fifteenth on my board. Uh, where is he for you? Eleventh. Uh, you have an eleventh. Um, defensively, really good. Um, positionally, I don't think he's going to be a liability necessarily off of screens. Like he's able to kind of play, play up to the three point line. Um, opponent shot forty three percent of the rim. Had an eleven percent block percentage. Like. Very solid player, positionally very good. Why I have him so low is I just personally don't think one, he only played 22 and a half minutes per game, injury issues, um, like had some foot strains, is almost 300 pounds. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the reason why I have Zach 85, just to counter that, is like Zach 80 performed way better at all the, not way better, but better at all the combine things, taller, more athletic. Um, able to score more durable, yeah, and that's the thing too. Is do you buy Don McLean's scoring ability? Um, a lot of people have been recently. I think he's able to finish, like play finish, but I, d I don't know. I'm not sure if that's going to really translate with. I don't want to say physicalness, but just I, I guess I just don't believe his offensive upside. Um, I mean, I don't like his push shot. He's not that explosive. He's yeah. not super skilled. Um, you're yep. you're getting him here for defense and rebounding, and I don't know. I mean, I just don't know if that's warning the seventh pick for me. Yeah, um, I agree. I mean, I have him 11th on my board, so not like a huge disparity. My problem was always with the thought of him going one, two, three, four. Like, in the yeah, top five, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he should ever go in the top five. Seven, I actually don't have a real problem with it, especially with the needs of the Portland Trailblazers. Um, the teams didn't post him up really besides Zach Eady. Um, they were five of 33. Uh, on post shot against him and outside of Edie, uh, who we are both quite high on, really good screener, good offensive rebounder, and the rim protection and the passing, right? As you can see on a couple highlights right there. Um, I think I I credit a lot of the, the passing uh, highlights to the UConn offense, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you have to also, you know, give him some credit in being able to, to make those reads. So I, I do think that's a... He's a quality like player. Ultimately, the offense is a massive concern to me. I don't think yeah. he's consistent as a lob threat. I don't think he's consistent as a finisher. Cannot attack mismatches at all. Um, like 29 inch vertical just doesn't get up for really anything as a lob threat. So yeah. Uh, and 58% from the free, free throw line. Like this, let's not forget that. So you can very well hack, hack him, him. Yeah. if you need to. Um, so yeah, I don't see the shooting upside. I really don't see the free throw upside. And uh, like you said, there's already some concerns in terms of he didn't play like a heavy minutes load, even as a sophomore on a UConn team. And I know they blew, up, blew out a lot of teams, but I didn't, I didn't really see that. So um, my comp is Walker Kessler, but honestly, I was higher on Walker Kessler out of college in terms of shot blocking. I think and Walker then, like, Kessler in general was more of an elite defender. And then Andrew Bogut. I think is my best is my favorite one because you had a little bit of passing there and you had the size and yeah it wasn't super athletic but like was smart so I, I have Andrew Bogut yeah I got um, Walker Kessler down as well um now I think his ceiling he could be like a high level starter but I I don't know I don't know if the difference between floor and ceiling here um for me would I mean I guess for the need for Portland like you have to take a center seventh yeah. and I get it but he would have been gone like yeah you, yeah like I get it like for sure um, just in terms of an overall prospect, it's hard for me to see if he actually is truly able to reach that ceiling. So, um, yeah.